How you doing, Kat? You okay? Yeah, I'm not too bad, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Fantastic. <laughs> Apologies, but you know, I didn't catch you at a good time, and I was. No, no, it's okay. Myself. The meeting just ran over a little bit Wonderful. more than expected. So. Basically, I've heard you can get registered managers. Uh, I spoke to Chris. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just give me a bit of a lowdown about, do you specialise in residential care? Do you always just a bit of a ad hoc kind of thing as of when you get something or... Yeah, I'll happily just give you a 30-second rundown if that's okay. Yeah, no worries. So, I started off my own agency and I was recruiting solely for nurses because that's my background. Oh, okay. And what happened was I identified a need in the market for registered managers. Subsequently, mm. I just focus on social care, staffing care homes, mainly on the children's service side. Mm. So it typically, the, the influx is about 80% registered managers. Therefore, my marketing, my database is solely focused on registered managers. And I do know the issues in the market. I'm not going to, you know, I might not even be able to help you out in all honesty. But mm. I'll quickly identify what are the issues. Why can't we find someone? What's the likelihood of finding someone? What are the issues? And I can offer that consultative approach. Um, you know, I'm not in it. I'm not a massive corporate entity that's going to try and just squeeze you for every penny. You know, it's, you know, I just, Where? Like, to, yeah. I just yeah, like yeah. to hear your thoughts on what's in the market at the moment or what your struggles are, really. Um, well, we're getting, a, we're getting a few CVs through. We're seeing a lot of deputies trying to step up. Yeah. Um, um, we've just placed from our own ads anyway a registered manager um, in the other homes. That's dual registration. Um, that's been completed. Um, yeah. In terms of the market, I'm just putting the feelers out to everyone because we did have three, four candidates. Yeah. However, they weren't suitable upon interview. We had two last week, but they're just not responding back to us. So they've probably just been pinched up and moved on kind of thing. Um so, yeah, I'm just putting the feeders out, and I remember Chris sent me a, obviously, your number, so I thought I'd just put the feeders out oh. to you, if you can sort of assist us with, it's a two-bedded home, okay. um, the home is res registered, um, but however, we just need a registered manager to sort of set that forward and move it forward now, the service. Okay, wonderful. Service users, is it like an EBD home, or...? Yeah, it's, it's an EBD registered home. Okay. Um, it's been registered with Ofsted. We just need to place a manager and then obviously support with HR and head office to, to recruit a new team. Um, and that's okay. it. Just get 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 full occupancy. That's it. Okay. Right. It's quite it's like a new canvas, basically, for a registered yeah. manager. It's like the perfect setup, basically. So some registered managers do, they're like, yeah, I'll be happy. They actually love new homes. Some you might find as soon as you mention it's a new home they they feel like they're going to build all the processes and they've got to do recruitment so some no might... everything we've got hate we've oh, got okay. a full recruitment team we've got a head office we've got two services running already so it's not like this is going to be left on their own yeah okay, perfect so they get that sort of back office infrastructure in place wonderful yeah 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 okay, perfect and you know i'll be happy to put the feelers out there on my end and you know my database i think it's close to about two thousand registered managers on there Mm. Which is Where are you based, Kat? I'm based in Ipswich at the moment. Oh, okay, Ipswich, yeah. So I solely. I was a London boy originally. So am I. I'm from yeah. London as well. I live in London, but I work in Derby. Yeah, wonderful. What, what part of London? Um, I'm from East. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I'm, mm. a, I'm a North London boy myself. And oh, okay, yeah, I could tell from the accent. That's <laughs> I was thinking, where are you based? Like, where are you? <laughs> Everyone asks me that, especially with... A lot of my clients are up, up, up north, if I'm honest, and, you know, they, the first question is, where are you based? So, in terms of what I cover, it's, it's all of the UK, and mainly on the permanent side, mm. simply because temporary, I, I, don't, I can't trust who's going into homes, actually, um, without meeting them, in all honesty. So, going back to what I offer as a service, I'm happy, if you're happy to get terms in place, I offered Chris a flat fee. Um, per placement, I don't. Okay. I don't typically offer the ten, fifteen percent. It was, I think, it was about two thousand pounds I offered him. Two thousand okay. two hundred per per placement. And yeah, I, this is why I've called you as well because yeah. obviously I knew that the prices are very, very reasonable. Um, which is something that we can work with because agencies take the piss as well. Look, I just simply don't have the time to recruit. Otherwise, yeah, I would. Absolutely. I mean, what are you probably getting typically quoted? 10, 15% that range, yeah? 
10 to 12, I don't go over 12, yeah. that's extortionate. And if I can offer a better service at a, at a reasonable price, I mean, I'm, I'm going to make a profit from it, in, let's be honest. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, of course. I haven't got to pay for massive infrastructure or staff, and I haven't got to line my chief executive's pockets. Uh, you know, I'm happy to pass the sort of savings on, really. Yeah, okay, that's why, okay. That's why companies use me, a lot of companies use me exclusively, because they're like, hey, look, cheaper to even have this guy rather than an internal staff member so yeah. i'll put it all in writing for you would you be able to put, i know it's a children's home um i know it's not populated but would you be able to share the first part of the postcode so i can do a proximity search yeah no worries de24 so delta echo 24 and what i can do is i can report back with my findings um, in terms of interviewing candidates, we can we can cross that bridge. Would you want me to get terms in place before we do that? Um, it's, how do you normally work? Honestly, I'm not. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't fuss me to be honest. Okay. Let me do. Let me do some work my end. Let me mm. pull together because I might go to market and find actually there's no one. There's no point us doing. Yeah. Any work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then I just waste your time. I provide weekly updates as well. If you want me to okay. call, I'm happy. If you want it in an email, that's fine. Whatever you prefer. So I will say I've interviewed 12 people. The issues I had was this, this, this. Or, as and when, I'll just send across CVs directed to yourself as well. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be myself okay. sort of liaising. It would be HR manager. Right. Um, but obviously the initial call and terms and all that, I wanted to speak to you first, then Correct. pass your details on to her. Right. However... Um, you do a bit of background check, and if there is, then it's obviously I would forward your details on turn, then we can just liaise as of when. Right. Right. Um, if not, if there is, then it's just all a bit of a waste of time, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so absolutely. you you let me know if you can work with us, or there is some scope there, or yes. anything. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just say, so when will I be hearing back from you? Because it is quite urgent. Right, definitely by the close of play today. Okay. I'll, what I'll do is I'll send you my terms. I'll send you a report attached to that, unless, like I said, there's no one in the market, which I doubt. But, and then, yeah, you can obviously just say, yeah, we're, we're happy with those. Go ahead, full mm. resource, interview, shortlist, etc. And if you can just provide an introduction, if we get there, to your HR mm. manager, um, and I'll pre-qualify CV, screen them, and then shortlist off of that. Mm. Perfect, perfect. Wonderful. Can I take company name and email address, please? Our company name for that home is in a separate company, it's okay. called, but we operate as one, it's Clouds and Sunlight Care. Clouds and Sunlight Care. Yeah. So, Clouds, Sunlight, Children's Care, and what else did you need, sorry? Just your email address to... Uh, yeah, so, shall I text it over to you, it'll be easier. Please, yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, so we just don't misinterpret anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to me before, that's why I'm saying it. <laughs> Absolutely, that's fine. Perfect. And uh, do you need anything else from myself or any information? Um, no, not as of. So, are you going to be doing a percentage basis with us, or sort of the same sort of no, um, a total flat fee? So, cool. You know, I just said two thousand, so I'll keep it at that. Okay, perfect. Do you know what I like working with people like you, kids? You know what I mean. Thank you, sir. Um, well, hopefully, hopefully. Do you know what? Um, once I was in actually Harwich actually yesterday. Yeah. I was in Harwich yesterday, that's, that's right next to him, which isn't it? Colchester, yeah, 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 so if I'd known, I would have flown by and we could have had a coffee saying, but anyway. <laughs> While I've got you on the phone as well, mm. I don't mean to be pig-headed, but... No, no, when I'm not... Use, when you use agencies, and I've come mm. from that, you know, that world, go to the independent people, they care more, the independent mm. recruiters, the, the corporate, the, especially the big names, they're, they're useless, in all honesty. Mm. Yeah, they they just hire recruiters. The average experience in years is probably about six months you're dealing with, and they only put effort in if they can make quick money. Like I will work with you for as long as you tell me to get lost. Mm. I'll keep looking. I'll give you updates, and I'll say, look, someone come on the market, someone didn't, and we can look at how we can fix these problems. So you don't have to pay me even mm. as well. And I think that's. Look, as an agency, look, I, I even, I even thought about 
I even made the company and everything, develop yeah. new development recruitment. I was going to go into it. Right. However, that it's just very. You know, I'm running three, four services. We got other businesses. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's me and my dad um, okay. that run the operation. But it's just finding a the time, and it's better to sort of like like you said, we have got in-house recruitment. Yeah. However, I only use that for the low-level stuff, so RSW seniors and deputy managers. Yeah. Other than anything senior and above, I we we have our ads out there. However, we're not that. It's just the return, isn't it? I think agency did. It's just about the time, and you have to be shit hot to get on it. Do you know what I mean? And you know the industry obviously a lot better than I. I would. Yeah. Right. Correct. In terms of recruitment, how to sort of. Um, but in terms of, I thought about it. There's. There is money in there, however, there's a lot of headache as well, and that's why I just sort of stepped away and I had to dissolve the company. It's just very time-consuming, which I don't have. It is, yeah. It's literally, the reason people use me is because all day I sit on the phones and the emails. And my yeah, I could do it if I wasn't yeah. doing anything else operationally, do you know what I mean? It would make sense, but right now I can't, so... Yeah, no, no, I totally get that. Absolutely. Mm. Okay, what we'll do is... Um, because look, we're expanding and developing and growing, okay. and we've already bought our fourth home, so potentially by the end of the year as well, we're going to be looking to place a manager there. Hopefully, we're going to develop from within, but if that doesn't work out, things do change, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, and I think, obviously, we want to have a working relationship, don't we? So Of course, 100%, and hopefully, I can be of service. Yeah, definitely, kids. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Thank you as well. Half hour. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, Ken. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.